Gentlemen, ladies, boys, and girls, it's the finale of the COV Mo's. And today she's gonna shoot a lot of people in the face just like that. We got a lot to do today. We got the slaughter map. We gotta get through the freaking guardian takedown, the Malawan takedown, and then we got a few pieces of gear that we're still after today, like the Zitsev's eruption, for example. We gotta get the freaking Globetrotter from Guardian Takedown. That'll be fun. But first, let's start the day off by trying to get our major Kong. That's where we left off on the last episode. So wish me luck man i just want the kong give me the kong i know that rhymes with dong but don't get the wrong idea so what is the cov most playthrough in case you've been missing out this is cov weapons only we can use pangolin and anshin for shields and grenades our iron bear is obviously allowed and otherwise man this has been a crazy fun playthrough i did not expect to have fun with cov i was like all right it's gonna be just tizzies right but no i've been using mostly uh shit what have we been using we've been using a wide variety of stuff but I've been trying to test out some other weapons that maybe I don't use normally. And we've been pleasantly surprised by a few things, especially the gargoyle. Dude, the gargoyle, when we got that yesterday, that thing broke my brain with how damn good it is. Uh, one thing that happened yesterday is we ended up getting four diamond keys, two at a time. And I was like, all right, something's not right about this. And that's correct. Something was not right about that. They were not actually diamond keys. They were regular keys. It might be because we're using mods. I'm not sure. But but we're getting the same effect as the Nintendo Switch version where the regular keys show up as diamond keys. And I don't know what's causing that. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day was ruined. Do you guys like having the webcam on the YouTube highlights? Let me know in the comments below. Got a convergence and another rebound. Gotten a lot of non-elemental rebounds. Hey, we got another splatter. Hey, we finally got it. Damn, more damned Major Kong. All right, yeah, that's good enough. I'm done with this guy. He's just, he refuses to drop me the Major Kong. We got one total Major Kong in that entire time. So that's good enough. Let's take it back to Sanctuary and we're going to put a new anointment on it. Gentlemen, ladies, boys and girls, cats wearing birthday hats and people that can't get Major Kongs to drop. It's the finale of the COV Moes and I need a finale name. What you got? It's Mover. <laughs> it's M-O-V-er. It's Mover. Let's get out of here. Okay, so we got a bunch of Proven Grounds left to do. I don't know that we can kill the Hag of Fervor, but we also got to do the Malawan takedown, the Guardian takedown. Get out of the way, stupid. I think we'd go ahead and knock out the Guardian takedown first because that's going to be the biggest pain in my ass because we got to get the freaking Globetrotter, and it's not like he drops it every single time. So that's kind of a pain in my butt. So let's start there. All right. See what kind of damage this thing does now. This is the times three. Oh my god, dude. I don't know, man. The times three felt like it did even crazier damage. Okay, back to the times one. <laughs> I mean, they're both doing crazy damage. Okay, you know, it's just it's just that good. It's that good no matter which version I'm using. So maybe the times one is preferable just because I'm not gonna waste so much ammo, you know? Alright, rebound. Oh man. Rebound's nice. My aim is not the greatest. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Damn. Flying enemies are a bit of a problem for me with that, but, you know. Uh, oh, my God. Flying enemies are a problem regardless. Let's... You little shit. You brought this on yourself. This is why the Soul Ranger is K6's favorite weapon. Exactly. Y'all need to give me some space, man. You guys are, like, acrobatting right into my face. And I'm not a big fan. How many of you guys can there possibly be? Quit sending more. <laughs> This is why people cheese this shit. God damn. That could not have ended fast enough for my liking, I'll tell you that. Don't shoot me, don't shoot me, stop shooting me. Don't do it. I don't like it. Oh my God. You! Ah! I'm insane with anger! What can you get from this takedown? Usually just disappointment. Can we make it? Can we make it? Woo! <laughs> Close one. Oh, I guess the right direction. Go me. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, I thought I had the timing down, man. I did not. I did not have the timing down. Okay. Hold on one second here, guys. I'll be right back. Did you die so hard to crash the game? No, no, no. I died so hard that I came back to the beginning and guess what I'm not gonna wanna do again? The crystals phase, so. 
bypass those right quick. Hey, if you're a badass, nice. Who wants to be a manticore? It's shard attack. Oh, this guy just popped up out of nowhere to defend his friend shard attack. Mr. President for shard attack. Imagine a president named shard attack. President shard attack has left the oval office. Quick, somebody's got a gargoyle. Jump in front of the shots. Shard hawk down. This is new mod by Epic NG, so I don't have to do the crystals again. Guys, the mods are linked in the description of this YouTube video, if you're watching on YouTube. Hey guys, look, I finished the crystals phase in record time. Hey, that door is open too. I don't even have to crawl through. Yay. I like this better than on the Redux mod. Like there was some really cool stuff on the Redux mod for Borderlands 3. But the thing that I didn't like was that they just completely removed immune phases, which on paper sounds awesome. And then you like go to do it and you're just like sitting there like instantly killing everything. And it, I don't know, it kind of like took some of the fun out of it in a way. I know that sounds weird, but. Oh my God, why do people have to keep Mr. Presidenting me? Run away. This is a lot better actually. You know what? I like this a lot. This is a really good mod, Epic. This makes Guardian Takedown actually a good bit more enjoyable. Now, if he can make this mod also make it so that the dudes drop their freaking loot, that would be great. Instead of a bunch of greens, purples, and blues and a TNT. Because if we get to that final boss and we don't get a Globetrotter, I'm going to be pissed. Right, let's put on the Major Kong. We haven't got to Kong anybody yet. Yo, dog, you want some Kong? Are they chasing the rocket around? What are they doing? Man, is it just me or is the Major Kong kind of suck? I don't know, that's pretty lame in my book. I don't know. Let's do some Hydro Frosting. What they call it when you go to get like blonde streaks in your hair. Give me the Hydro Frost, please. All right, Cowboy, you're doing great work. Glad I could be here to not help at all. Dang, I really like the rebound a lot, man. I've been sleeping on the rebound a little too much too, dude. Well, that was everybody. Good job, Cub. Let's go, baby. All right, bro, let's do this. Damn, he's already knocking down pillars. Dude is pissed. What up, dude? That could have gone better. <laughs> better kill one of these guys before I get teleported. <laughs> that would suck to be in fight for my life and get teleported, you know? It is just the best gun that I got going right now. Okay, damn, Cub. <laughs> Cub's like, I got this, Daddy. You handle the dudes up there. Bullshit. Bullshit. Oh, Ben Lawson redeemed. Throw your next legendary off of a cliff. Ben Lawson. You son of a bitch. This might come back to haunt me. Okay, great. Why do I why do I still have that as a redemption? That was a dumb idea. All right. Well, let's see. Oh my god, I ran right into that stupid fish. That was smart. I'm stuck! I'm stuck! <laughs> Bullshit, dude. Alright, we got him. First legendary. <laughs> that goes off of a cliff. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Alright, what else we got? Triple A. I'm gonna, oh, we got one! Yay! Unbelievable. And with splash damage, and it's a radiation one. Oh, man. All right. Well, we got lucky. Damn, he dropped the smog, the web slinger, and the freaking. Wow. He dropped them all, dude. All right. Hold on. We're going to go out this uh, portal over here. Or wait, do we go out the portal, or do we just go over here? Can we go over this way? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I thought there was more of a walkway there. It was this guy right here. It was a times three. I remember that. You know what? Have them both. I don't give a f <laughs> Here, have a gargoyle too. I don't care. I'll give you guys some bonus stuff. Enjoy your legendaries off of a cliff. All right, that was fun. Let's go and knock out the slaughter shaft, guys. Hey, guess what? Okay, hold on. Wait, is this thing actually really good and it just really sucked in the freaking takedown? Is that the problem? <laughs> but yeah, the Major Kong's actually killing stuff. All right, let's try the Globetrotter. I completely forgot that we just literally got this damn thing. Just literally got this thing. Oh my God. How have I not used this thing before? What is happening on my screen? Oh my God. I was not ready for that. Globetrotter on this build is stupid. Fire, 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 fire. Okay. Some chaos happening over that way. I don't want to go over there right now. Let's focus over here for a sec. See, the main problem for this uh, character and for COV is that I don't have like a good grenade option for healing. So, you know, like I can throw the fish and then run and hope that I hit something. That's obviously not going to work for me. On the flip side, what COV weapons that you expected to be good and end up not being the Hydrofrost? Uh, on Zane, it's amazing. But on my Moe's here, it's just really not performing very well at all. 
Oh my god, quit jumping into the pile. I ain't gonna take any of their shit. Titan, come here. I didn't take any of his shit. All right, Titan, what'd you, God dang it, Titan. All right, hold on, Cub. We gotta, we gotta redo this final round. That was close, that was close, Cub. So since I didn't get the Zetsev's eruption, I wanna redo round five until we get it. <laughs> Cause it is a completionist run on top of it being an allegiance run. So need to get all the COV gear. Zetsev's is one of the ones that's a real pain to get. Oh shit. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that guy came literally out of nowhere. <laughs> Need Cub to go away so he doesn't murder the final dude. Got it. Woo, we got the Zetsev's eruption. Zetsev's eruption. Get erupted upon. And put the, uh, the extra damage nodules there. There we go. So that's what the Zetsev's does. <laughs> so as you reload it, you'll notice it shoots out the little things that will uh, debuff enemies. Well, that was worth it. There we go. All right, Cub, go kill people. I'll handle the turret, dudes. All right, tradition dictates that I need to jump up here and knock this guy out of his turret. Go into camera mode. Chuck Lee, motherfucker. He's using the turret for cover. That's not a proper cover technique. That's a Kuroto heavyweight versus a Kuroto tizzy. How'd that go? Dude, the tizzy is just broke as shit, dude. In the best way possible. I'm not complaining, man, <laughs> mind you. Are we playing Ring Around the Rosie there? The hell, dude. All right, I want to see if Cub will one-shot these guys. He did. <laughs> Cub just one-shot him. My man, Mr. Cub. Man, we got some dope-ass guns, man. <laughs> I am enjoying this. I did not think I was going to enjoy doing some COV stuff at the end, but that's what I love about Allegiance is, man, I discover things about guns. I'm like, I did not know how good the rebound really was. I'm an idiot. All right, here's where shit's going to get real crazy real quick, though. Got him. Oh, no fished myself i fished myself he's gonna move ya this is gonna move you when you pop it in your mouth juicy fruit is gonna move ya chew so sweet it gets right to ya juicy fruit yeah. taste the taste the taste is gonna damn cub kamikaze cup oh my god all right lanoge it's your time to shine get him lanoge Scared of my Linoge. He's running like a bitch. Running like a bitch from my times five Linoge. Yeah, look at that guy. Just instantly dying. I kept the sapper on because, you know, I got to focus on some survivability here. <laughs> All right. I don't know if I'll be able to shoot the uh, the better half, though. With a... Oh, my God. I actually hit one of those dudes. Yeah, I don't think I can hit that guy with it. We'll go tizzy on that guy. That was awesome, man. Well, now it's time for Hemavorus and Vermivorous. Oh boy, this will be quote unquote fun. Sorry if it's been asked already, but what's the plan for the next playthrough? Um, Ultimate Salvador, just like basically no restrictions. I want to try and rebuild like Deputy Sal with also uh, Ahab and Pimpernel and perfect double penetrating Unkempt Herald and Grog Nozzle, you know, bringing back to his glory. Cause I haven't done a Salvador in forever and I've been having that itch been having that itch for some borderlands 2 i've been watching jolt's dudes mala one zero and it's been giving me the itch to go back and play borderlands 2 again you know i want to try this guy all right cub come have fun with me it was worth a shot <laughs> all right let's try our tizzy see how the tizzy feels here shoot didn't expect vermi to pop up in front of me oh vermi did not like the tizzy ain't that i have to drop my tizzy and pick it back up to like do that <laughs> that was my own damn fish <laughs> Oh, baby! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Woo! Come on, baby, you die! Got him! Now it's your turn, Vermi. How about a COV company man? <gasps> what? Yes! Ah, oh, it doesn't have reduced heat. COV damage, COV fire rate, COV critical damage. All right, let's throw that guy on. No, pew, pew. More like, yes, pew, pew, am I right? Oh, yeah. Oh man, when that hits those mine sweepers, holy crap. Yeah. All right, what'd you drop? That fight's crazy, man. Like everybody, I know everybody's like, you know, there's nothing hard to do in this game and blah, 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 blah. But I don't care what anybody says, that fight gets crazy. Okay, hag of fervor, huh? I don't know why I'm letting you guys talk me into this. 
This is not gonna end well, I don't think. Surprise, mother- Oh no! <laughs> he hit it back at me, but it bounced off me and didn't kill me. I can't see shit over there, Cub. How about you? Nope. <laughs> I just hit that light pole with that fish. See how this shit goes, man. I'm I'm not super optimistic, honestly. May God have mercy on my soul. <laughs> Dude, this is this is nuts. <laughs> We're hitting those crit spots, but we're not getting a whole lot out of it. Oh, great. If you're a badass, let me just go ahead and uh, tell you guys the secret. You're dead. <laughs> Sorry, viewers. I got no time for that. This is just the first phase, guys. <laughs> One hour later. All right, this phase, we should be able to tank. Look, this is good. Like, we can handle this. When it comes to doing fire damage, Moe's is not going to suffer. Please stop screaming, hag. You're really disturbing the children. Just let one. Oh, there was a minesweeper. Oh, no, no, no. Saved by a wooden railing. Oh, nice one. This will be like a true test of this build, honestly. Be able to survive and beat the Hag of Fervor. Yes. Oh, that was big. That was a big hit. Suck it. Yes. True Hag of Fervor with COV Moe's, man. That feels like an accomplishment right there, dude. That shit is not easy. The Hag of Fervor on true difficulty, I don't even remember how many billions of health they've got, but it's stupid. What do we get for that? We got a Blastmaster. Hey, COV weapon damage. Now we get something good. All right, great. And a cut burst pullout method. Sure, why not? Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough. This was a lot more fun than I expected, especially at the end. It was pretty challenging doing Hemavorous and Hag, but, uh, you know, between the Tizzy, the Gargoyle, the Rebound, Major Kong, dude, there was some real good gems in this. And again, my favorite stuff on this playthrough was obviously the Tizzy. I was blown away with how fun the Globetrotter could be the no pew pew obviously the no pew pew was amazing the gargoyle was great we actually were able to kill some people with the major kong in the slaughter shaft but the rebound was great obviously everybody knows the linoge is amazing don't have to tell you guys about that one the saw bar was excellent especially versus stationary targets this was a lot of fun guys i i hope you guys enjoyed this as much as i enjoyed going through it here's the final build green tree purple tree blueberry tree and pumpkin spice if you guys enjoyed this playthrough hit that like button hit subscribe tap the bell icon for more our next playthrough coming up is back to borderlands 2 we need to rebuild our salvador so it's going to be a no restriction salvador we can do anything we want we can chase any gear we want so we're going to be rebuilding a nice deputy slash raid boss destroying salvador so it should be a lot of fun we're going to get into a lot of adventure on that one that's going to be a longer playthrough than most of these borderlands 3 playthroughs because we're going to go through the story three times and then uh farm up and, and get all of our gear and stuff so it should be a good time hope to see you guys on that come watch the stream sometime we're at twitch.tv slash killer six there's a link down in the description below for that as well thank you guys for watching i'll see you next time take care